Hi, so second vid now for the third lesson on the um, modelling. So it says Sarah is a passenger on a big wheel. Told you so, Ferris wheel, big wheel. Uh, when Sarah is at the point S, the wheel is stopped to pick up another passenger. The wheel then rotates anti-clockwise with a constant speed of several revolutions. Um, and I've got this information here. Right, so let's have a think about the 12. So the 12, that's the position of my centre line, isn't it? So if my centre line, so there's my, there's my kind of like my person, there they are in the little box. So that's 12 metres high. Now the 11 is the radius or the amplitude. So it's going up by 11. So the top, so the bottom of it will be one meter above, because it's kind of like going down by 11. And the top of it will be, trying to get the distance the same, will be 23, because it's going up by 11. There. Right then. How am I going to do this then? So I can draw my picture in. Uh, assuming that. Hmm. Assuming that I've kind of started from here, so I'm just going to put like a, do the same distance roughly, so as good as you can do it. Uh, about there. Oh, my eyes, let's see where my eyes is. And then, uh, so that's kind of like one complete revolution. And, uh, there you go. And it'd keep on going, wouldn't it? Yeah. So it says here, as the wheel rotates, how high above the ground level is the highest and lowest? Um, so we've said that the max height is 23, which is going to be the centre line plus the amplitude, 23 metres. And the min will be 12 minus 11, is 1 metre there. So it's, there's some word in here, isn't there? So what's this about? Uh, so it's all to do with so as a little bit of so we've got that. So this part is a is a circle stroke graph transformation problem. And we've kind of dealt with it, haven't we? Just by thinking about what happens. And the good news is you can actually graph this and see what values you've got. Uh, so to find the time now, so this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. Um, So to find the time the wheel takes to make a complete revolution. So once again, this is a graph transformation issue. Graph trans. Hmm. So it says the unit circle should take, now it's 360 degrees, because it says we're in degrees up here. There, that's important that. So you've got to think, say like you had just sine x, that does it in 360 degrees. And if if that was time, it'd be 360 seconds. But if I add sine of 2x, then it's going to do it in twice as fast. It's going to do it in 180. So if the x-axis is your time, it's going to do it in say like 180 seconds. Now that 2 has come from being twice as fast. Now what it is, is it's the 360 for a normal rotation divided by what its rotation is. So 180. So the 2 there has come from 360 for a normal rotation over 180. So that's where the 2 comes from. So if it was a 10x, it would do it in 36. It'd be like 360 over 36. So this here, this number here at the bottom would be the time for a complete revolution. So what it means, if I do 360 over the number in front of the T or the X, which is a 9, that'll tell me what it is. So I'll just continue this bit down here then. 
So the time it takes will be 360 over 2. Now that 2 is the number in the bracket. But it's the one at the front of the bracket. So you've got to be careful with that. And my writing is not very good. A number in the bracket. But in the, in the front of the bracket, I don't know. Whatever makes you sense of it. So let's have a look at this. So it takes 360 there. So if we do uh, 360, so what does it say for this one? So we've got inside translations there, just put that there. Transformations. If you do physics, you look at the time period and the frequency. Uh, but we're on the time period now, so it's 360 over 9, because the 9 was a number in front of the T. And if you remember, I told you that that deals with the speed of it. It works out how fast it's going wrong, round. The bigger that number, the faster it's going. So it takes 40 seconds. So 360 over... The number in front gives us how fast it takes. There. Uh, okay. Right. There. The pack does it a slightly different way. Uh, let's have a look at this one now. Then. So let's have a look at C. And then we'll probably be for that. So it says, at what time will Sarah be first at a height of 7 metres? Right, so how am I doing this then? <sighs> so I need it to be at 7 metres. Now you've got to remember from the original graph we had, uh, there's my X there, that it started at 12 up and then it went up and went down. And I'm looking, so it went from like 1 to 23. So I'm looking where 7 is. There. So I'm saying where my big graph. Um, so I'm looking at my y is 12 plus 11 sine of 90 plus 7. And I'm looking at y is 7. So I'm going to put them equal to each other. So 7 is equal to 12 plus 11 sine 9 of t plus 7. <laughs> is that 7? Using 7 in there is not ideal, is it? Because you've got too many 7s knocking about. Uh, right, so if I take, I'm going to do some rearranging. So if I take this 12 away and get minus 5. Divide through by the 11. Do inverse sine of that, so that would give me minus 27 degrees for 9 of t plus 7. But uh, I don't want the minus because that was before it, maybe. So, that's all, so I'm going to go with the next one along, which would be adding on the 2180 something. Uh, so if I'll use my graph to help me, it'd be 180 plus it. So from that graph there, that one, because that's like a 180. So it's going to be 180 plus, that might get you that bit there, 180 plus it, 27, so I'm looking at uh, 207 as being the first positive. And then if I divide through by 9, you can see it's going to give me a nice answer anyway, it gives me, uh, what give me? it'll give me 23 is t plus 7, then take the 3 away, it gives me 16 seconds for t. So that's a little bit trickier. But to be fair, why don't we just graph it and solve it instead of doing the maths? As long as you show, unless it tells you to do it fully, show that and then just graph these two individually uh, and just see where your first value is. Right, that's another 10 minutes up. Sorry, everyone. There's a question for you. Uh, have a go at that question for you. I'm not going to try and open it up.